This video will list the top five mounted PvP generals as of February 2023. This is not the free to play version of this video, so it will include some generals that are difficult to obtain. These generals will require substantial purchases to achieve their maximum potential. If that's not for you, check out the free to play version of this video. One other important note about these generals before we get started. While the generals included here are not necessarily free to play, there are events these days that allow you to acquire some of them much more easily than before. Technically, this is not free to play and you may be limited by how often you can get enough points to get a premium general. So you may want to focus on one premium general for one troop type and have the rest as free to play. If you do decide to spend, consider using the Amazon App Store. The Amazon App Store now has a landing campaign page that details all the information needed for purchasing through their store. Clicking this link will take you to a page with download instructions and also direct links to the coins that can be purchased for a discount. Clicking these links to check out the discounts or using these links to go directly to your purchase helps support the channel directly, so I greatly appreciate you taking the time to do so. Now back to the top 5 PvP mounted general list. The considerations made for the selection of these generals are mounted attack, mounted defense, mounted HP, march size, and in some cases unique attributes such as debuffs are also considered. Since this video is focused on the usage of these generals as the primary, it will consider general ascension and specialty. Number 5. Lee Naumasa. Naumasa's skill increases mounted attack by 25% and mounted HP by 40%. This skill is active both offensively and defensively. Now Masa's mounted attack and defense are nothing great, but his mounted HP buffs are exceptional. Upgrading Now Masa will unlock a 10% enemy troop HP debuff. Another big plus for this general is that his skill book is functional when attacking and reinforcing, which provides some versatility in how he can be utilized. One of the downsides to this general is that you will not be able to apply an attack skill book. Now Masa places 20th in attack and 20th in defense, but has by far the highest mounted HP of any general for this troop type in the game. Number 4, Hannibal. Hannibal's skill increases mounted attack by a total of 35%. This skill is only fully active when used offensively. Hannibal's overall buffs as a free-to-play general are huge. On the downside, his march size increases quite a bit lower than other generals. Hannibal ranks 5th in attack, 16th in defense, and 2nd in HP. It's a pretty big deal though that Hannibal is easily accessible in the tavern. Number 3, Roland. Roland's skill increases mounted attack by 30% and mounted HP and defense by 15%. This skill is only active offensively. Fully maximized, Roland places 8th in attack, 2nd in defense, and 11th in HP. Roland has excellent overall buffs and an above average march size increase of 28%. He also has additional debuffs to enemy ranged attack. Like Hannibal, Roland is also available in the tavern. Number 2, Mordred. Mordred's skill increases mounted attack by 40% and mounted defense by 30%. This skill is only active offensively. While Mordred may be slightly weaker than the number one pick, I feel that his buffs are a bit more well-rounded. Still, at the same time, Mordred isn't that far above and beyond the free-to-play general Roland. For most players, I'd recommend sticking with the number three pick. They are very comparable in terms of buffs, considering that you'll have a larger march size with Roland, as well as an archer debuff. Mordred is good, but probably not worth the added difficulty to obtain. Mordred comes in 2nd for attack, 5th for defense, and 9th in HP. Number 1. Zhao Yun. Zhao Yun's skill increases both mounted attack and HP by 30%. This skill is only active offensively. His march size is on the smaller size, but he makes up for it with larger troop buffs. His attack and defense buffs are a lot more impressive than his HP. To be blunt, he's not as impressive as the number one picks in some of the other troop types. For a general that will be difficult to obtain, he's not a whole lot greater in quality than Roland. Better? Yes, absolutely. Yet, if you're going to fork out the money needed to get this guy fully maxed out, 
you're better off focusing on a solid ground, ranged, or siege general instead. On the other hand, if all you care about is the absolute strongest mounted general right now, he's your guy. Zhao Yun places first in overall mounted attack, third in defense, and twelfth in HP. Thank you so much for watching this video and supporting the channel. If you liked what you saw, please consider hitting the like button and checking out other videos on the Miser's Guide to Ebony. I'll see you in the next video.